In this video clip, I will show you how to insert unit models into a flow sheet in Syscad. I'll be using the flow sheet figure one from the Syscad basic tutorial shown here. This flow sheet consists of six feeders and or sinks, so we can see four on this side and two on the right, and two tanks shown as an agitated tank and a leach tank with four compartments. So swapping across to Syscad, to insert a unit, you can either click on this icon, which is Insert Unit, or we can click on Graphics, Insert Unit, or you can click Control U. So if I say Insert Unit, we get the Insert Unit dialog box, and you'll see that the flow sheet now also has a grid on it, which will help us to place the units. So I'll start with placing the feeder cross-page connectors. And you'll see the dialog box has this left-hand side, which is where you select the mathematical model that you wish to insert. The right hand side is merely the symbol as how you want that model to look on your flow sheet. In this case, I'll leave the feeder with a default symbol. As my mouse moves across onto the flow sheet, you'll see the pointer has changed and it now shows us that we're inserting a feeder cross page connector. To place my units, if I hold down my left mouse button, I get some crosshairs which will help me to place the units neatly. When I release the left mouse button, the unit will be placed. And in the case of this unit, the insert point is on the center of the feeder. So I'll place the four feeders on the left hand side, each time holding down my left mouse button to line it up, and the one down the bottom, and then the two on the right hand side. And the other one holding down, I'll line it up with the top feeder on the left hand side. So those are all the feeder cross page. Now I go and I want to select the tank model. So I select the tank. And in this case, I want the first one to be an agitated tank. So I'll choose agitated from the list here on the right. And there I get a picture of what it looks like. And again, if I hold down my left mouse button, I can line it up and I'll put it there. And now my second tank, I want it to be a leech tank. So all of these symbols are in alphabetical order. So if I want L, I'll just type in L and it'll take me down to all the symbols that start with L and there's leech tank with four compartments. And I can see that is what I want. So I can come back here into the flow sheet and I can place that there. And once I've done that, I can click the OK button. Or if I want to remove the last unit that I placed, if I click undo, it'll take away the last unit. If I click cancel, it will move all the units that I've placed in this time. Click OK and in our next exercise we'll link the units up. 